Hi guys, this is Raquel with Paints and Glitter and today I'm just coming to you with a very quick project share here. I uh, wanted to show you guys something that I guess what I would call off the page. I tend to show you guys in, on this uh, YouTube channel items that I make with paper, uh, whether it be cards or mini albums, that sort of thing, but I actually do enjoy other types of crafts. I really like painting more than anything else but i like to repurpose items and i like to make things that are a bit a little bit different here and there so today is one of those videos where i'm just showing you a banner that i'm making for a local retail shop and that i hope is liked by those who see it um, this banner i made with a couple different things and i'm gonna walk you through it very briefly i will not be making a tutorial for it <laughs> so i apologize for that but i just wanted to put that out there i have time constraints for certain things and so i, I can't make as many videos as i would like to but I did want to share it. So what I did here was, of course, you see four panels before you, and I just measured out the paper to make a triangle the size that I wanted that I thought would be substantial enough because this is going to be hanging on a wall, and I wanted it to be visible, of course. So once I measured out my paper, what I did was that I cut it all in similar sizes. I didn't actually make it perfectly the same because I didn't want to do that, but I'm just going to walk you through it. So let me just fold it here. I think it's easier because it's just four panels essentially. So here's what I did. What you see here in the background is actually paper and it is heavyweight cardstock that I uh, stamped and embossed. So I used some stamps and I will show you that. These stamps here and these are from my mind's eye so i did use the flower stamps this one and this one and i used the key and i used this border here and i thought those were absolutely gorgeous when i saw them so i was really happy to be able to incorporate them into this so what i did was that i embossed them differently one of them um, i stamped in black ink and then the others i stamped with just a ranger Oh, it's, it's clear. It's a really sticky, clear substance that's for embossing, and I can't remember the name of it, but most of you will probably know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, and I also, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention I used the doily stamp there that you see. So that one, what I did was that I stamped it very lightly, and I did use uh, Distress inks and Oxide inks, but I kept it very monochromatic. So what I did also was that I distressed the edges of that banner and then I cut out a rosette piece and used it as my kind of scallop border there to finish it off on the top. And then I also backed it up with cloth that I painted and distressed. And then I topped the banner with pieces of applique there that I cut to fit so this piece and this piece here were actually attached so I just cut them up and then you know use them in the design there I, th I thought this shape here was perfect for the bottom so I used it there and then I did line it with the little pearls there and then I added pearls here I also made some bows out of seam binding and also of the same cloth that you see in the background I just ripped it and made the little bows to fit on top and then I used this die here from Nicole Silhouette as because it is another little doily and then I topped it off with the golden letters and then back here I used a shape to make that golden border on top and then I used some really pretty ribbon that I found um, to connect it all so the the backs are quite, you know, they're messy because I used paint, but I really love the way that it turned out. And it's not 100% finished because I, I do need to attach the ribbon that's going to go on the sides. But because I'm going to be hanging this up on a wall, I didn't want to just show all of it just yet. Just because it's going to probably take a little bit of tinkering for me to attach that other ribbon that's going to get this up on a wall. So... There's the letter O, and if I didn't mention it, the font is from, well, I think it's a system font that I purchased, and then I used my Cricut to cut out the letters. So, and those are nice thick letters. 
so they won't be flimsy. I need to clean that, that one up with my rubber erasers I've shown you guys in the past. So yeah, and there's a letter V, and then there's my letter E, and as you can tell, all of the pieces of applique are exactly the same, but not every single banner is exactly the same. I just repeated the process, but on some, as you can see there, you can see the little key here and there. And I'm really, really happy with the results. I love gold and white and anything that's uh, kind of vintagey. And this is this falls, I guess, into the shabby chic category, if you will. But I thought it would be perfect for the wedding season, which you know a lot of people are getting married this time of year in the spring and in the summer. So this is going to be on display and hopefully someone will enjoy it and i hope that you guys can also enjoy this and that you can be inspired and be blessed thank you for stopping by have a great day bye, -bye.